Wow. babies and welcome to my kitchen recently especially this gabawin season i've been really feeling eating on this channel and i was just gonna make these without the camera on and then just eat the homemade korean corn dogs mozzarella sticks like as a mukbang on this channel i realized you guys might want to see me make these so i'm gonna make these right now i have these little skewers i don't know which ones will be best for the mozzarella if you guys are here to see me eat you guys can skip over the cooking part but if you're interested in seeing how i'm gonna make these from scratch then keep watching So I'm using gluten-free all-purpose flour and it says a one cup of flour. Then it says two tablespoons of salt. Just so you guys know, Steph Pappas inspired this. Two tablespoons of sugar. I'm using monk fruit sweetener. I'm trying to make these as healthy as possible. And a three-fourth cup of milk. I drink 2% milk. Oh my gosh. I am not a neat cook, by the way. So now I'm going to use my baby Yoda spatula. And I'm just going to mix this all together. So now I'm going to pour the batter into a mason jar. Use my Halloween napkin to clean this up. Yo, imagine just like drinking this. Mm-mm. Okay, so I'm taking this large plate and I already have these two plates coated in flour. I'm going to get out my mozzarella. I'm gonna put the skewers in the mozzarella and then I'm gonna roll them in the flour. I'm gonna eat one. <laughs> okay guys, this took very, very long, but now it's time to coat all of the mozzarella sticks. Which stick is gonna work better? Honestly, I think the thicker ones are gonna work better. But they don't come out nearly as easy. Oh my god. They're like tightly packed in here. Oop. Okay, I finally got a few out. All right guys, so all the mozzarella sticks are coated in flour with sticks in them, and I'm gonna place this in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is gluten-free panko crumbs, by the way. Okay, so it's starting. So far, so good. Oh my God, it's working. This is crazy. So now I'm gonna sprinkle my sugar on my Korean corn dogs. I'm putting the not so sturdy ones on the end. These ones are gonna be plain on the end. Guys, how did I make these? All right guys, so here's the full platter. Um, I'm gonna have a first bite. I doubt there's gonna be a cheese pull because I made so many. I don't think they're that warm still, but Here's the first bite. Oh my God. Wow. Hmm. 
And they keep coming off the skewer. I feel so lucky to be eating this right now. Mm. I need to get water and napkins. Okay, so I have to make my ASMR TikTok. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me. My new little like, my new little plug-in mic for my phone just came in the mail. And I'm gonna start making ASMR mukbangs on TikTok. So I'm gonna film one right now. <laughs> so good. I am so full. I had pasta salad, homemade pasta salad for dinner before this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more cook with me, eat with me videos. I feel like this was such a lame mukbang, but I'm not going to lie. Along the way, I was eating and cooking and sometimes I get really, really full when I'm actually sitting down to eat because I have eaten along the way while cooking. Let me know in the comments down below though if you guys like these types of videos. I love you so much. I'll see you in my next Gaboween vlog.